Phoenix down. Yeah, useless. I mean, very useful, but we already have so many of them. A crystal helm. Let's see. I got one of these. And you cannot take them. Nor can anyone else. Okay, now we can go back and take the middle path. One that should lead on. Over here. Let's see. Some statues of dragons and all that. Yep, this is the end. We reached the end. Nothing else in here. I don't even think that there are. Random fights in here. However, come a long, long way. All our MP are uh, refilled because I used so many of them. We've come a very, very long way. Well, we. whatever. But it's time to end this. Once and for all. That sounds a bit like bullshit, but yeah, that's the that's the rules. We've been cursed. Hmm? Who's that? Um. Yes, actually, you did. This just should be no problem, right? There's our first soul that can help us. Princess Sarah. There is our second soul, the Master Engineer Sid. <coughs> There's our third soul. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. He's not really dead. Of course, he's not. He just jumped into the fire, but he's still alive. It took you so long to repair that thing. Oh my god. Two souls that help us left. in Seronia.
and the last soul, or should I say, bunch of souls. Well, yeah, probably the most stupid characters in this game. The four douchebags, well, they also have to help us. But only one of them is going forth to help us. And there you go. Five friendly souls willing to help us. How did they know about the Wyrm's power and all that? Make much sense. Hey, he moves his head. He can move again. Okay, now that we we got that, let's see. That looks like a. Uh, very very welcoming place and there he is Sand the bad guy oh my god what are them what a knuckly cow Blah blah blah, just shut up and die. Now, very, very uh, disappointing, but Xan is actually a weakling. He's so much of a weakling. I don't even need, I wouldn't even need to use magic on him, but uh, I'll just quick. doesn't do much, he takes so loads of damage from Ingus and Malia in general. He even takes much damage from magic and all that. And uh, he may do some melee damage, but it's very easy to heal as he only gets two turns. So he basically is a weakling. I think we gotta get healed up after this fight anyway. So let's just use all, all our MP. Should actually be pretty dead soon after this or the next round. Well, I don't. I think it's like um, 40,000 or 45,000 HP. So if Ingus does like 8,000 damage every round and more, this should be a piece of cake. Now he uses haste to buff up his damage. He does, but it's still very easy to heal. You can win this fight without healing, but I want to be sure that everyone gets the experience for this fight. Because I've stick off like three of them are uh, in front of XP, and one of them is like 10,000 experience behind. That's pretty stupid. Now use Meteor, which can actually kill Ingus, but it doesn't. And I, I bet you, um, yeah, I bet you I win this fight without healing, and yes, I just did. This guy, this weakling, we didn't even have to heal once. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, now that we uh, defeated Xan, we just have to care about all that things he did and the darkness and all that. Because you see that thing there, this darkness stream. Guess what? We gotta do something about it. When we do something about it, I mean like attack it. We are the cloud of darkness. We have come to return the world of the void to nothingness. We shall engulf everything in our shadow. Both light and darkness will return to the void. 
You're right strong. We shall start with you. And here we go, the final boss fight of this game. Cloud of Darkness. I don't know why the cloud is female with tentacles, but I guess it makes sense. So I gotta be careful, it's not just the cloud of darkness itself. It's got one tentacle and I don't know if uh, there we go. Uh, there are two tentacles. So you should start off with Actually, I should start off with healing. That'd be a good idea. Let's try and attack the tank club there. Both try to um, buff up the cloud itself. And I also try to do some damage sometimes, I think. 